All personalities and characters betrayed in this game are based mostly on real people. This game is not intended to gain monetary profit from the names or the images of the individuals included without permission. Press space bar to start. To continue. Can't even read. Now I'm out of breath. What the fuck? Hey, indie game lovers. Super Matt Jordan here. Today we're playing Slushy. Oh, I got that wrong. Oh, no. Anyway, Super Matt Jordan is a 2D platformer. It's been in development for quite a while. I think I remember seeing it on IndieDB about a year ago. And the first playable demo's out. I think I got the controls in. Just trying to read them while I was talking. Pretty tricky. 3, 2, 1. Matt Jordan time! So, what I know about this game is that the developer has based the main character firstly on one of his friends, and the rest of the events and people, NPCs, whatever, are also based probably somewhat loosely on uh, real life events and uh, situations, characters they've met. So I thought it sounded pretty interesting. The art style also looked pretty cool. I like how it's kind of a noisy pixel art. It looks a little bit more like a, on a realistic kind of side of things. Oh, I was fighting a massive burp then. Sorry about that. Probably didn't have to tell you. I probably could have got away off it. In the meantime, what the fuck was that character? If he's based on a real life person, I do not want to meet them. Some angry red midget twin wielding fucking sword. Can we get in there? I think we're too big for that hole. <laughs> Story of my life. Good old slushy doing an X rated fucking video once again on a G rated game. What is wrong with me? So how do you hit this switch? Press W, okay, I got it. Quite an interesting little forest on the outskirts of Osborne, I've got to say. Don't think I've been through any forest that quite look like this. Big red dangerous balls, that's usually the person with me in the forest issue, not my issue. Far out. Ooh. Don't want to get teabagged by that big red ball. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh shit, what's going on here? There's a switch over there. Let's see if we can get to it. Oh crap, crap. They fall quite quickly. But I was prepared because I've seen a video. Ha ha ha. Suckers. Oh, I hate running into them rocks. I don't even. I keep thinking they're going to be part of the background or something. They feel like they're on the same layer as the tree. Visually. So I guess we can't go up there. I'm not sure if this game's gonna have Metroidvania kind of elements, like we have to go back to areas you've previously been to with new abilities and unlock new secrets. It looks like it possibly could be that sort of style of game. Oh shit. I hate these midgets. Fuck off. It's like a, maybe they know someone with really red skin who laughs. What? So that's the first time I've heard that sound effect. Maybe that's the first time I've gotten a hit. I'm not sure that I got hit before that. Oh, crap. Crap, get up, get up. The old spike pit in the forest. I'm sick of that. When will the park rangers clean up these fucking situations? TJB. Hi, I watched you walk here all the way from Highway 64. Quite a long trek. You could have fucking come and given me a lift or something. Good thing the Osborne bus. Uh has route stops set up, blah blah blah, across the county, just stand on a bus stop and press up, also known as the W key if you prefer, I don't judge. You will then get to choose where you want to go for a small fee, you can only tell the bus driver to go places you have already been, I'm guessing. Yep. Go ahead, give it a shot. But I don't want to spend five bucks on a bus. I would just walk in real life, because I'm a cheapskate. Let's do it. Also, I can't even make it more than 10 meters on a bus without falling asleep. So if this game was based on me, you'd wake up in some strange city because you didn't get off at the right stop. Jepson's auto shot. Well, our van is broken down, so let's go and get some help. Hopefully this guy... Welcome to my repair shop. I'm Josh Jepson. But you knew that already. Yep, fuck. Of course I did. You must have had some trouble if you were to walk into a place like this. Oh, what a guess! I see, did it make a did you get me a fresh kind of a sound? No? 
Well, I'll get my tow, tow, uh, tow truck driver out there at Highway 64 to bring your van into the shop. But he's been gone today, no call either. His name is Phil. Phil my Kraken. If you can find him, he'll bring you your van. Good shit, man. I really need that fucking van back. It's got a whole shitload of weed in the back. Just trying to get to the next city to sell it. Osborne's a bunch of straighties. Life Depot. Bonk. Sex shop. Hello. This guy's having a fit. He's got his hands in his pockets. Super genius. Hey there, guy, and welcome to the bank. Oh, it's a bank. I thought it was... A, maybe it's a sperm bank. It's called Bonk. Saving up money beyond what you can carry is always a good idea. What's that? You don't see the vault? Oh, um, it's rather buried underneath a bunch of old computer stuff. More a pile of dead, burned out, faulty, ugly, disc molesting PlayStation 2... PlayStationary 2s? I have some pent-up aggression and I still haven't been able to find my bank vault. Go out the back door and help me smash up some PS2s. Okay, so I'm guessing this guy's a bit of an Xbox fanboy, maybe. Super Smash Genius! Um, how do we do this? Stage 1, I guess? Ah, oh, crap, minigame! Fuck up the PlayStations! PlayStationary! Die! You and your lack of anti aliasing Who gives a fuck about how many polygons a second you can do? Where's the visual effects? Nintendo had it all! Oh, not really. I love all the consoles. I'm just trying to get into character here. Any console is good if you can play a game on it, as far as I'm concerned. PC Engine, 3DO. Holy crap, I'm talking shit and I'm not gonna get all the fucking consoles! Oh, that's good to know there's mini games and stuff. Hmm, I guess I should probably wrap this up, because I've got a super lame ass internet connection. And there's the wall of signs, that's probably, that's a sign, literally, to stop the video. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, go check out the demo for yourselves. I'm definitely enjoying playing it, and uh, stay tuned for more indie game previews. Go give yourselves a thumb up the ass, and uh, subscribe to some fucking porn websites, catch us later.